guys! Today I'm reviewing the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. This looks like a cute gadget and I got it in red. It's also available in aqua, black and white. This model cooks 6 eggs at a time. There is another model that cooks 12 eggs at a time. Basically, this is supposed to take the guesswork out of when your eggs are done. The unit measures 7.5 inches across and 6.5 inches tall. Of course, you can leave it on your countertop because it's so small. The cord measures almost 31 inches long. With this unit, you can make hard, medium or soft boiled eggs, as well as poached eggs and omelettes. Included is this base with the heating plate. It's not removable. The power button and indicator light. Boiling tray. The handle for the boiling tray. Just snaps in. The omelette bowl. Poaching tray and the lid with steam hole and handle. It sits right on the base. For storage, you can turn the lid and it'll lock. The tabs on the lid just slide into the handles. When you're cooking though, do not lock the lid. Leave it open. There's a measuring cup with a pin on the bottom. This is to poke the eggs before cooking. This cup measures the water that you would pour into the heating plate. There's markings for hard boiled egg, medium boiled and soft boiled. There's also marking to make omelets or poached eggs. There is a time guideline in the instruction manual for large eggs. If you're using jumbo eggs, you'll have to add a little extra water and it might take more time to cook. There are also a few recipes in the manual for deviled eggs, eggs benedict and egg salad. You can also steam other foods in this unit and there are instructions in the manual. You can steam fresh and frozen vegetables, fish, dumplings and even tortillas. I know this looks like a cheap plastic toy, especially in this red color, but let's test it out and see if it actually works. First I'll try hard boiled eggs. I'm going to be using large eggs. I'll pour water up to the hard line. Pour the water onto the heating plate. Put the boiling tray on, put the handle on the heating tray and put the tray on the base. I'll do six eggs. Now you want to poke a hole into each egg using the pin. Poke a hole on the wider end of the egg, not the narrow end. You do have to press all the way down and you put the egg with the poked side up, which is the wider end. Put the lid on and don't lock it. Plug it into an outlet and press the on button. The blue indicator light will come on. When all the water has evaporated from the heating plate, a buzzer goes off so you know the eggs are finished cooking. That was the buzzer. You can't actually call it a buzzer. It was very loud. It's more like a fire alarm. It can almost give you a heart attack. It's that loud. So that took 16 minutes for the eggs to be done. I already turned the button off. You can actually hold the handle and lift up the lid without worrying about the steam hitting you because the steam hole is over here. The handles are cool enough to hold. Now I'm going to just take the eggs and put them right into some ice water. They're hot. There are some brown spots and staining that could be from the hard water and the eggs themselves. For cleaning, wait for the unit to completely cool down and you can use a vinegar water solution. The instructions are also in the manual. I'm going to let the hard boiled eggs cool for about 5 minutes and make poached eggs in the meantime. Pour water to the omelette slashed poached line. Pour the water on the heating plate. Put the boiling tray on first. The poaching tray is non-stick but should be sprayed with some cooking spray. I don't have any cooking spray so I'm just going to wipe it with a little bit of oil. Put the poaching tray on next. I'll crack one egg each into each slot. Again, these are large eggs. Put the lid on and push the on button. In case you lose the measuring cup, the hard line takes two ounces of water, the medium one ounce of water, and the soft a little under one ounce, about seven eighths of an ounce. And the omelet poached line takes one and a quarter ounces of cold water. Now the eggs are cool, I'll go ahead and peel them. It 
see they peel really easily and cleanly. I didn't lose any egg white. Again, it's really loud. Take the lid off. Take this off. There's a little water collected on the top. Just pour that off. It's a little wet on the bottom. Take the other one out. Just run your spoon around the egg. Okay, that came out neatly. Cut into it. Can see how it looks. It's not bad. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's really not bad. Try this one. And there you go. Not bad for a little egg cooker. Let me just see how soft it is. I'll go ahead and taste this. It tastes pretty good actually. The eggs are not hard. When you make poached eggs in a regular pot, when you drain it, you have to put it on paper towels anyway to get rid of the excess water on the bottom of the egg. This had a little bit of liquidy egg white on the bottom, but otherwise it's an acceptable poached egg. Here's the peeled egg. Just cut into it. There you go. That's a pretty perfect boiled egg. Looks really nice and evenly cooked. Just take a bite. Really good boiled egg, same as if you'd boil it in a pot. And I have to say the peeling was much easier than if you boiled it in a regular pot. The shell came off really cleanly. Now I'll try making an omelet. Pour water to the omelet line. Pour that into the heating plate. Put the boiling tray on. I have oiled the omelet tray, put that on top. With the omelet tray, you can use one or two eggs. I'm going to use two eggs. Beat them up. Pour the beaten egg into the omelet tray. Put the lid on. And press the on button. The omelet is cooked. That took six minutes. The omelet's puffed up nicely, it looks really fluffy, and it's come off the sides already, so I think I can just flip this onto a plate. It just slides off. It's cooked nicely. Just taste a piece. It's a nice soft omelet. With the poaching tray, you can make two different omelets, egg white omelet, a regular omelet. You can also put in onions or peppers, bacon, whatever kind of additions you would like to the omelet. And of course, you can add cheese, vegetables, any kind of meat before you pour the egg in in the omelet tray. I didn't add anything because I wanted to see how just the egg would do in the cooker. To clean, let the unit cool completely. It's not dishwasher safe. Wash the parts with warm soapy water and dry. The base can be wiped down with a damp cloth. If you want to try this egg cooker, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope this review was useful. Please like and share this video. It's always nice to see how something works before you buy it. So subscribe for more reviews and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.